Okay, another thing I want to touch on is the security component component of this um, of this bond, the upgrades that we're going to do. And in lieu of um, the Oxford school shootings, and I mean Oxford, you guys, is only 30 minutes away from us. It's not that far. And, and if it can happen there, it can happen anywhere. And so the upgrades that uh, are going to be a part of this are much needed. I mean, you can't always prevent everything 100%, but we want to do as much as we can to keep our kids safe. That's that's huge. Uh, that's the, the number one priority. Um, and then there was another question online that I want to just address. Um, it said the security enhancements can be made through state grants. Uh, the state education budget is a surplus, meaning that the security components of this bond could be dismissed and those funds used for academics. But then somebody else online said that particular program is stalled at the state level and the the funds we don't know when we might get them where where does that stand yeah well, uh we have benefited and i appreciate in the last state budget there was a line item for uh, safety and security enhancements and certainly that allowed us to uh, do a number of things within our buildings um, namely uh, move to uh, add another sro um, as we've done um, SRO, meaning? Uh, school resource officer, okay. uh, police officer. So <laughs> okay. we have one uh, in partnership with Flushing City and yep. two SROs in partnership with Flushing Township. Okay. Um, and certainly where we uh, pay uh, the portion that um, those officers spend with us, uh, sure. if you will. And gracious, uh, the township and city are gracious enough to, to pay for the portion that they're not allocated right. to the school. So it's a great partnership. Um, so there, there is a small grant, and we hope that it's there next right. year, um, that allows us to do things like that. It also allowed us to um, maintain and add premier security officers, which are uh, former law enforcement and or okay. uh, military um, that are armed in our buildings. And so we have you know, at least an armed officer in every building at all times when kids are there. And so okay. um, the grant is well intended. Um, it is helpful. Um, it does not come close to meeting <coughs> the, the financial needs of enhanced security. Right. Uh, certainly, uh, that last grant allowed us to start putting a few more um, uh, uh, security cameras in. It allowed right. us to update and upgrade uh, bus bus security cameras um, inside and outside. Mm -hmm. Obviously, to help kids. It allowed us to do those things, and so I, I hope I hope and pray that um, that is part of the next budget. Obviously, the governor. Um, <coughs> I got it. Sorry. Okay, back to where we, were, where we were before I had a coughing fit. Sorry about that, Matt. Sorry. Yeah, no, I was just going to say the governor certainly has has put forward in a projected budget, um, right. and the Senate and the House will as well. And, right. and, and we hope and pray that um, safety and security is a line item in there. Uh, it's been combined combined with uh, mental health supports, uh, basically okay. one fund. So, um, and people have different mm -hmm. ideas, and so we, we hope that we're able to um, have that line item again. But it, but it, it, you know, it just covers a small <laughs> portion of the safety and security needs that we have in the district. So this so, bond, yep. what what exactly are we going to spend money on? So actually, let me let me. Go back because people yeah. were asking, what's the projected breakdown of the money spent on all these different things? So we're going to go through this real quick. But the breakdown of safe, safety and security is about two to three million dollars. Yeah, it's two to it, two to three million dollars on safety and security. Obviously, and we can come back to it, but it's the most important thing we do. Absolutely. You know, obviously, we're a school, math, science, English, social studies <laughs> trades right. are incredibly important. It's why we exist. But if we can't keep keep kids safe, they've got to go home in a better state, you know, physical, mental, emotional, than they came to us. So if we can't keep them safe, nothing else really matters. And I've said yes. that to many parents over the years, yes. uh, whether it was in this district or other districts throughout, throughout my career, we've got to keep kids safe. And so a 2 to $3 million investment in safety and security, um, instructional technology infusion mm -hmm. of 2 to $3, to million, two to $3 million um, over the next two years, elementary playground enhancements, $2.5 million to $3.5 million, Based on the price of asphalt, more than anything, right, again, we right. can come back to some of these. <clears throat> we'll come back. Performing to that. arts and auditorium updates, one point two five million to two, or just north of two million to mm -hmm. do uh, the substantial upgrades we want to do. The HVAC upgrades of the gyms and cafeterias, which is about a two and a half to three and a half million dollar ask, right. uh, depending on um, you know a, a few factors yeah. um, and when we can get it bid. Um, and then the athletic complex upgrades um, at Seymour in regards to uh, our facilities there and the high school of eight, um, eight and a half really to 
almost twelve million dollars. But there's a range for all of them. Obviously, right. this is a multi, you know, uh, faceted. Um, <coughs> Everything has Bond. to be bid and so forth. Without correct. a doubt, yeah. absolutely. And so we're gonna, you're gonna start with those safety and security enhancements. So um, what are we doing, safety and security? Yeah. Well, for like I said, highest priority. Good <laughs> yes, question. yes. Um, we want to replace exterior doors for added security. You look at some of these secondary doors, and some of our primary doors, but more than anything, our secondary doors, and they're original to the buildings. They were put in in the right. 50s, and then the 60s, and then the 70s. And so while we've done a good job of secured entries. Um, where you have to buzz in and be buzzed in our yeah. primaries, uh, we would like um, to update our secondary entries. Right. Together with that, we need uh, to upgrade um, our um, how we how we allow people into the building, whether it's a punch code or whether it's a card. Um, okay. So our, our alarm codes and how we lock down the buildings can be severely enhanced. Uh, okay. and needs to be upgraded. <clears throat> Some of that is sure, original but... um, or uh, was first put in in the 80s. And it is outdated. It well, is technology outdated. has advanced so much too. Without so, a doubt. so right. We'd like to get rid of the punch codes, certainly, um, um, as those are recycled. You know, and yeah. some um, and other people may have gotten their hands on those punch codes. You know, throughout sure. the years, and so we'd like to update <clears throat> basically um, that secure aspect of our buildings. We would like to add uh, update alarm systems. Yep. Certainly, we'd like to add more and more security cameras, which we sure. have. We have. I had a large infusion of security cameras over the last eight or nine years, and every year we add some. But we're in a day and age, we're mm -hmm. more and more so. More is better. If you don't, if it doesn't happen and it's not on tape, uh, or if it's not on tape, it didn't happen, right? If you will. And so we want as comprehensive coverage as possible, including okay. on our playgrounds where we have cameras. You know, that might be from 300 yards away, and it's right. pixelated, and you can't tell whether. It's a human or a robot, you know, um, <laughs> right. if you will. Or, yeah. um, and so well, we want to up upgrade that. Um, and we want to add ballistic film. And anytime I say ballistic film to windows and or doors, it, right. get, it makes the little hairs on the back of my neck stand up because yes. I, you hate to think of somebody trying to shoot their way into mm -hmm. a building. Um, but in this day and age, and like I said, people are proud to have an armed security officer in every building mm -hmm. uh, so that they can go towards... Uh, where something like that might be happening, but um, we have great partnership with city and township police as well, and they'll yep. be in route as soon as possible. But ballistic film would, would uh, allow uh, for a little more time before somebody was able to shoot themselves right. into a building to do our kids' harm. And so uh, you may go from That's... five seconds to, to 45 seconds. That can make all the difference but in the world. every second, uh, without a doubt, would allow us to get somebody armed to that area quicker. And so we want to be able to do that with... Uh, where we have a fair amount of glass. Excellent, excellent.